Who goes there? Let's go, girl. Girl, just give me a second. <laughs>
Let's go, girl. Come on, girl.
Howdy. Just admiring your horse there. Blige. You'd run off to join the circus. Huh? Circus? No. You worried your mother half to death. Uh, I was fine. Really, I was. I ate spaghetti. What? Oh, it's Italian food. It's... I don't know how to explain. Was it nice? Yeah, really nice. Come here, Arthur. The people? They were nice, too. Everything was very... Well, different. Bring me I something soon if you can, Arthur. Room. Like a cage. Uh, well. No, no. Good no. job, Arthur. It's more like a palace in a story. How nice for you. Our little prince. <laughs> there should be some real good. Our little prince. Tomorrow we begin reading again. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. 
Good job, Mr. Morgan. Do you realize you look like a backstreet butcher, Mr. Morgan? Won't take long. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. I'm still here, and I intend to stay here, too. No thanks to you. I caught some reprobate shambling around my backyard yesterday. Went straight to the law, of course. I swear, this place is going straight to hell. Well, must have dawdled. You take care now. You know. Farewell. Hello there. How's your luck?
How do you do? Hello. Thinking of going after them, are you? I'd wager you're more than up to it. I happen to know that feller is farming the swamp for trying to kill a bison water strand. If I hear that damn Clementine song again, so here we are. Don't you try to pull anything funny again. I will come back to haunt you. Well, long time no see, stranger. <laughs> Been a minute. Sift through, see what you like. All right, girl. Okay then.
We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiving man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't. Don't leave us, Pop. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family, okay? You gonna take me, or what? <coughs> Bastard! Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. I love you, Daddy! Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. What was the point in all that? Could have got your neck broke. Premature. Let him go back to his family. You're gonna have trouble with us. Whoa. Shot him. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. What the heck? Hey! Alright, let's go. This feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. the price for Johnson. 
I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your class catches up with you. Come on. Just go away! Yep. Easy now.
Easy, easy. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Come on, girl.
care. Easy, easy. But they done to you. him our zebra <laughs> well you can't call him that <laughs> although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler oh dear you're missing the point aren't you it's an illusion a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses confound comprehension hoodwink your audience hoodwink our audiences <laughs> dear boy don't be so dreadfully literal no one will pay for the truth they only pay for deception the allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. The tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Let's go, girl. Now that you've started helping, it would be a terrible shame not to continue. You're okay, girl.
Easy, whoa. There, girl. <laughs> Easy, girl. Girl? Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and, uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't it? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first... I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Back. Back blood to me. Yeah. What's this? <laughs> oh, darn. I found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log, then. Okay. <clears throat> Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, 
I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shot it. Oh, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. This is, this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this wreck? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up in that sun. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We lost the main road around here. When the dust was up, be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss them if you wanted to. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good! Jolly good! You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly dreary bloody laid. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin.
get my repeater. <laughs> Hold your side! I am holding it. Hold yours! What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looked like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. Dog? Now, you excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll take care of this. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you excuse me. Step aside. What? 
I said step aside. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Whoever owned that beast's got some answering to do. I've never seen one of those before, and I hope I don't again.
Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they... Well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is from our boy. Well, it's him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado. As green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill.
You I'm just get home get safe, ma'am. Guess that's that, then. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now. Thank <laughs> you. 
way, mister. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. <laughs> you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, now, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, 
My time here is nigh on done. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. If the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. Monsieur. Hey, officer. Hello, mister. <clears throat> mister. Good day. I still can't get the lovely Susan to even All look at All right, me. girl. Ain't that just how it goes? Comunque. How do you do, sir? dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. We are in something of a hurry here, Arthur. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. 
You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Marie says she hasn't been paid in about a month. And it won't be the last time. Mark my words. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you, from Toad. Prince, uh, this is a bit much, ain't it, Coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. There Gentlemen, 
How wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Duke. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Yeah, you do. Next work. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. Well, I'll go find myself a change of clothes. <sighs> okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, sir. Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Kelly. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> 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 okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Now, nah, I'm out. I think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Here we go, then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know...
more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cakes. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen. Please, cash these out for me. I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece foreign made but you can't have everything indeed well here we are just give me one second sir of course take your time <laughs> don't reach for that gun Take his gun, Arthur. Get his gun! Go on! I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. A gunshot it sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks give anyone a job these days anyway we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy which it surely will to the bar senor i hope you had fun sir <laughs> in the time of my life <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There 
he is. Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here.
There we go. Let's go, girl.
Let's get you looking good. Hey, girl. Hey, you're okay, girl. Sir, transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Please! You, you gotta get me out of here! Let me out of here! I got a wife and kids! I won't ask again! Move out of the way! Shut up and keep still! I said leave! Now get going! I never robbed a thing in all my life! Come on! Oh, you're giving me a headache!
I need some money. Can't you help us fell out? How you doing? Hey, brother. Can I get a buck, mister? How you doing, friend? Hey, boy. Uh, howdy. Howdy, sir. Hi. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Sand and knee on the riverboat? Uh -huh. Okay, then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get under Sand and knee and have you some Sazerac. If there's anything else I can do, you let me know. Back again, you, sir. Good evening, friend. Girl? Evening, mister. Enjoy your boring evening. No, thank you, lady. How are you? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I reckon I got all the tails already. Good. Evening. 
and son. Get a hot bath, please. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. assistance in there maybe another time oh sure no problem Yep, the sheriff keeps a tight rein on this place, but at least he can let the moonshine in. You got any rooms? Room's all yours. Head on up. Hey there, mister. Morning, Ted. Did you not see me? Partner. Good morning, mister.
Okay there. Yeah. He came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
must be Danbury. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury. Pink man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here! It's here! Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you.
Okay, partner. Yeah. Morning, mister. Hey there, mister. Howdy.
This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Uh... To be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fest! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. By the way, what works? Uh, damn you, Theodore Levin! You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, uh, but I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. You can't happen to me. I will kill both of you. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend. <laughs> yes, you are. <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. <laughs> maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. No, 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 no. <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get them. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. A very good morning to you. Morning. 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 Hey there. Morning. Five morning. Hey, friend. Morning. Nice morning, ain't it, mister? How you holding up? Morning. Won't take long. Okay, girl. Hey, what's your issue?
got places to be. What's up? How you doing? Good morning to you, sir. Excuse me, pardon. Buenos dias, senor. Mister? Susan. Good morning. Come on, mister. Hello, ma'am. Uh, buenos dias. Belle journée, n'est-ce pas? Watch the mayor has been committing so Bad many crimes. Ce ne serait pas la première fois. For one moment, please. This is extremely hey. delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course. Too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm. Well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Well, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Oh, yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need... Fifteen assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while.
are you today? Hey, mister. Hello. That is one fine horse. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means? Everything okay? Bertram? Imagine saving people, Good taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. 
Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people. And I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... Oh. No, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram! Woof, woof, Bertram! Put the nice man down! Do something, he'll eat him! Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sherry! Easy, big guy. That dog hurt. strong Easy, Easy boy. Pop goes the weasel. Uh, ouchie! You gonna behave? No? Uh, uh, uh. You're in a lot of trouble, uh, young man. Not nice! <laughs> Sit down and no fair! Sit down and come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket, and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram.
like talking to a goddamn wall. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> old bastard yet Okay, let's get you out of here. Yes, indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. 
It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You... you know yeah I know just sit tight all will be revealed now you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here I was before you got so short with me son what the hell are you up to I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours it's a reunion of sorts will you stop being so damn cryptic I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you, taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. Hey, mister. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horse shit. I'm saving you. This is just a... Little detour on the way to liberty. I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. There you go again, Mr. Grant. Ain't doing yourself no favors. What's your name, son? I ain't got no name. And I ain't your son. Sit tight. I'll take you to your friend. And this will all be over. This is it. Down here. It's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh! Well, that settles that, then. I shot him in the back. I shot him in the goddamn back. And these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Now calm down, who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago, he's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes!
shit! Shit indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Huh? No, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. Oh, <laughs> well, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Come on.
Yes. Fried too much. Easy does it. Oh, easy. Come on. Sir, our fish. I could use some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. Uh, 
sure. I need to collect a big batch of this current here. You'll find the fruits hanging from bushes. It doesn't thrive near water, so I wouldn't waste your time looking there. Those plants may take some searching, I'd get started. Let's have a good look at this. Hmm, yeah, this is perfect. This will make a fine meal for my horse, uh, if I don't keep it all for myself. When I drink a tonic from these currents, it's like the clouds fall away. I can focus on anything. <laughs> You've been a great help. I've bottled up this tonic for you as a reward. This special elixir will set you right, no matter your wrong, is all the power the natural world can offer. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Let's go, girl.
This ain't your business. Go away. Come on. Don't shoot me. I don't want to die. No. Could you free me? Please? I'm tied up here. You're one of the good ones, ain't you? Thank the Lord for that. Will you get me out of here? Will you get me away from these men? Anything I can do to help you in your time of need, ma'am. I'm in residence at Hansburg, if that ain't too far. Not at all. Come on. Oh, thank you. That think you could make me some room? So, Hannesburg, can't imagine this was your first dust-up with those bastards. This weren't my first run-in with those crazy hill folk, if that's what you mean. Never too long before they make themselves known. Whenever their appetites grow past what they find in the hills. Still, poor Bradley. He wasn't the brightest nor the bravest, but... Oh, my. No one deserves that. Bradley? See the fella with you? Yeah, Bradley Hunt. Old friend of my cousin's. He's taking me home. Guess he thought he could talk himself out of the situation with them. Busy worrying about his own skin, huh? Doesn't sound like much of a man. Maybe, maybe not. Good men, it's hard to come by around these parts, though. Real men ain't like fellas in the books I read. Just hope I can trust you, mister. Sure. now. It's nice, riding like this. Almost makes me forget about what happened. Can't imagine life if it ain't on horseback.
there. Come on, girl. Yeah. You done good, girl. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome back, Arthur. You rest up. Good work, Mr. Morgan. Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. This should keep us fully stocked. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Mary Beth. Well, look at that fancy haircut, Mr. Morgan. Who are you trying to impress? Oh, don't you start. Mrs. Adler. Morning. Morning, Arthur. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Karen. Guess... Uh, he was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? No reason. Just making sure. Okay, Arthur. Considering. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. How's it going? Not much better. You'll be okay. There she is. Hi. So. You ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. All things considered, it ain't that bad. All right, Arthur. Quite a mess to clean up. In every sense. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. <laughs> 